concerning the case against uh, Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu. Remember, the Deputy Chief Justice was uh, ordered by the Chief Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi to go back to the court today after he declined to, you know, uh, go by the the orders issued by High Court Judge Chachamwita. So um, uh, Philomena Mwilu, the DCJ, is expected back in court this morning. Haemba, uh, good morning. And uh, thank you so much for joining us here on KTN News Center. Um, what do we expect in the in the uh, court in the corridors of justice today, owing to the fact that uh, the chief magistrate, that is Lawrence Mugambi, ordered DCJ to go back uh, uh, to the anti-corruption court this morning? Good morning, Brenda. Yes, uh, we are waiting that particular and a critical uh, session of the court here at Milimani that uh, should be getting underway in the next uh, one hour and 50 minutes or so because we have confirmation that uh, the court will resume at 11. That means that we have slightly an hour to know exactly the fate of uh, the second ranking or the, sec the second in command at the helm of the judiciary. That is uh, Deputy Chief Justice, uh, Lady Justice Philomena Mwilu. Now, there are a couple of things that uh, uh, will be uh, at play when they uh, resume. Remember that uh, this is perhaps uh, the battle of her life career-wise, battle of her legal life career-wise, because any miscalculation or things not going in her favor then that will mark the exit of her from the judiciary. And you know what is at stake. She's almost, uh, 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 what, uh, she's inching closer to the helm of the judiciary, being second in command. And that perhaps informs why she has assembled a legal team, a lethal legal team, high-ranking uh, uh, officers of the court, so to speak, as they refer to themselves, led by senior counsels James Orengo and Kongo Mogeni. And I remember that uh, on Wednesday there was that technical, there's a technicality that arose after her defense team managed to obtain an order to stop her from taking a plea at uh, the chief magistrate court. However, the director of public prosecution through the deputy Dorcas Odor objected, saying that uh, uh, this chief justice Philomena Milo's, Milo's legal team had obtained that order based on uh, a charge sheet number and not uh, registered as uh, a, a, when the case was yet to be registered and numbered and therefore the DPP's office objected to the stopping of uh, her from taking the plea on the basis that a charge sheet number does not reflect a court case that has been registered before court and numbered for that matter and it was on that basis that uh, uh, Philomena Mwilu's uh, defense team, led by, among others, James Orengo, Kalonzo Msioka, John Hamino, who are here in court, uh, they therefore uh, asked, they applied for adjournment from Wednesday to today, 11. And therefore, that clearly paints a picture on what is at stake. Remember that we do understand any move or any action that would see the uh, Chief Justice take plea then automatically it will mean that uh, she has to exit the office. And the latest development that we're also getting, Brenda, is that yesterday the Deputy Chief Justice reported to work to her office. And I've just sought confirmation from uh, the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Anne Ahmad, who has confirmed that yes, yesterday the Deputy Chief Justice was at uh, her office from as early as 7, and she sat in the GSC meeting that uh, ran the entire day. So that experience explains why perhaps she's fighting tooth and nail to ensure that uh, she is not uh, toppled or she's not actually uh, uh, taken through the legal gallows, which will definitely mark maybe her exit from judiciary. And maybe after managing to apply for adjournment, maybe her going to work yesterday tells you why she will be fighting harder may be more harder than Wednesday to ensure that today that particular uh, 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 
that particular matter is uh, actually upheld by the Chief Justice. Remember that uh, just, uh, Justice Chacha Mwita has stopped her from taking the plea, Brenda. Haimba, uh, might you be having any idea whether the legal team of uh, DCJ led by Senior Counsel James Orengo went back to the High Court to have the issue of the case number on the stay order sorted out because um, a Chief Magistrate, uh, that is Lawrence Mugambi, has said that this, uh, the case number on the stay order was different from the case number of the matter before the magistrate. Yes, we have uh, seen copies, but they are not yet official because they were yet to be produced before the Chief Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi. But that very afternoon, there are copies that were in circulation of the amended court order by High Court Judge Justice Chacha Mwita. But that is uh, as far as it goes until the the order, the amended order as directed by the chief magistrate lands on his desk uh, for his perusal and for both teams the defense and the prosecution agree, then for now we cannot actually confirm that indeed what we have in our possession is the legit document that uh, the amended charge and you'll also remember that uh, the matter was not in question that it had been stopped what the chief magistrate sought from uh, both teams was that a proper amended order is produced in court to avoid perhaps what you can say a loophole that may arise because the deputy the deputy uh, uh, dpp dorcas odor said yes in as much as that order had been issued by justice muita it was based on a charge sheet number. Now, a charge sheet number is different from a court case number. And therefore, she, she said that unless a proper amended order is produced, then uh, the Deputy Chief Justice has no option than be uh, actually uh, than to take the plea. So what the Chief Magistrate advised was that they go seek proper court orders amended for that matter and then they produce in court so we are waiting just to see whether the copies that were in circulation immediately after Wednesday after they left the court are the real amended court orders that will be uh, produced in court today before the chief magistrate Lawrence Mugambi remember that uh, we all know what is at stake and as I've said I beg your pardon, it's called here, Brenda. I beg your pardon because what is at stake, they know that uh, any miscalculation will see the Deputy Chief Justice by taking that plea, she is actually hounded out of office. And that is why they are very, very keen. They are making sure that uh, every detail is as per the requirement for both camps, if it is the defense or if it is the, the prosecution. And remember that uh, we do understand that yesterday, among the issues that the Judicial Service Commission raised were issues with the Director of Public Prosecution and the Directorate of Criminal Investigation. They are saying, in as much as uh, the 13 counts leveled against uh, the uh, Deputy Chief Justice, weighty as they appear, they were civil matters that they didn't warrant to be taken, she didn't warrant to be taken through a criminal court. And therefore they, are, they have taken issue that uh, civil matters have now been turned into criminal matters. And uh, that paints a picture on the seriousness of what is actually uh, facing the chief, uh, Deputy Chief Justice. And maybe that is why her 32 man legal team is fighting uh, tooth and nail to rescue her from the noose of the DPP and uh, the, or the, the DPP, of course, because they know that any miscalculation then she will be dragged through the legal gallows and that perhaps will be just mark another departure like what befell the first Deputy Chief Justice uh, Nancy Baraza a uh, while back, Brenda. All right, hi, Amba. And lastly, just to know from you, so as we speak right now, it is a matter of wait and see, um, just to know whether the DCJ will take plea or not. It's a matter of wait and see. Yes, it is a matter of wait and see, and uh, as I can uh, confirm on what we saw play out in the court on Wednesday, 
Her defense team had successfully managed to rescue her from the DPP's news. Now, the only problem was that technicality that appeared on that court order. And as I've said, so halfway the one round one, or round two for that matter because on Tuesday she couldn't take a plea, on Wednesday she didn't. Now today is round three. We are waiting to see if again luck will be on her side that uh, the chief magistrate will admit the amended order as issued by High Court Judge Achacha Mwita. But as I've said, this is perhaps uh, the battle of her life career-wise, battle of her legal life career-wise because she knows what is at stake and she knows what it means if uh, things don't go in her favor, Brenda. All right, thank you so much, Duncan Heimberg, just uh, giving us uh, details concerning the case against um, DCJ, that is Philomena Mwilu, at uh, the Milimani Law Courts that houses the anti-corruption court. Remember that DCJ is facing five corruption, 13 corruption-related cases. Just to mention a few, it is abuse of office, failure to pay tax, and also, of course, uh, matters of forgery and obtaining the execution of about 12 million uh, security belonging to the Imperial Bank between August and October 2013. So, of course, we shall give you live updates of that later on.